Okay, now we're going to be uh, talking about um, the suprarenal gland, also known as the adrenal gland. So how does it get its name? First, we see the renal tissue, or we see the kidney. The kidney has a renal artery and a smaller renal vein. The renal artery is a pretty large vessel. Um, it comes off the abdominal aorta, driving oxygenated blood into the uh, nephron, into the kidney. Above the kidney is the adrenal, also known as the suprarenal, because it is above the kidney, suprarenal. So this right here, what is the highlighted section? Suprarenal gland or adrenal gland. Now the adrenal has different portions to it. It has this highlighted pink portion, which is the adrenal medulla or suprarenal medulla. And then everything around it would be the suprarenal co uh, cortex. Okay, so this portion here is the suprarenal cortex. Now, when we look at the adrenal gland, we have different layers. There's the zona glomerulosa. That's going to produce mineral corticoids, such as aldosterone. Then there's the zona fasciculata. That's going to produce glucocorticoids, such as cortisol. And then there's the zona reticularis, which is even deeper. And that is going to produce the gonadocorticoids, such as DHEA. Now let's take a look at those layers because we can see them here, zona fasciculata, zona reticularis. We can see it uh, here, again, going from superficial to deeper. Let's look back here. The zona fasciculata, when we look here, which produces glucocorticoids such as cortisol, that's up here, this region. We go a little bit deeper. Whoops. Now we're going to go into the reticularis that produces the gonadocorticoids such as DHEA, that is the zona reticularis. Right, it's a little bit, it's stained a little bit darker here. So the adrenal cortex is up here as we go in deeper with the adrenal medulla, and that's where epinephrine and norepinephrine or your catecholamines are produced. So here, if we start superficially, this is the zona glomerulosa. If we go back, the glomerulosa produces the mineral corticoids. Right before you heard me say in the adrenal uh, cortex, we have mineral corticoids and glucocorticoids produced because of the glomerulosa and fasciculata. So this is the zona glomerulosa. We go a little bit deeper. Now we're at the zona fasciculata. We go a little bit deeper. Now we're at the zona reticularis. Let's go back. Zona glomerulosa, most superficial. Zona fasciculata. Zona reticularis. Okay. We'll take a break here. And when we come back, we'll start looking at the histology of the egg. And we'll do the male and female reproductive.